What's up, guys? Over the past few months, there's been a lot of talk about elderly cardboard collectors here in Singapore. In the online world, many people were very vocal about helping these folk. But what about the real world? We wanted to see how many people would actually step forward if they saw an elderly cardboard collector getting abused right in front of them. And by elderly cardboard collector, I mean me. Okay, let me stop the car. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, you don't have to. Okay, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come, let me help you. Okay, okay. Um, oh, okay, okay. Alright, thank you, uncle. You don't have to see that. Okay. Alright, thank you, huh? Okay. Come, 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 okay? Okay, okay, huh? Okay, don't waste my time, okay? Uh, okay, my dad. Wow, oh, Uncle. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Uncle. Okay, okay, Uncle. come. Okay, come, come, come. Uncle, Uncle. Okay, Uncle. 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 Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, like that. This one, ah. I'm going to wake him, ah. Hmm, I guess people do care, which is great. But the real problems faced by these cardboard collectors are less in your face than what happened to me, which is why not many people know about them. Take, for example, the basic issue of money. Do you have any idea how much you earn from one kg of cardboard? Now it's only 10 cents. 10 cents. Yeah. Last time it better pay. I only push one card only. One card I come, I take 250 only. Five. That's basically 10 cents for this much cardboard. Pretty ridiculous, right? We had so many questions. So to understand the bigger picture, we spoke to Nafis, a gentleman who works with these cardboard collectors on a day-to-day -day basis. My name is Nafis. I'm from Happy People Helping People Foundation. Our group uh, helps the old and the needy, particularly the box, the old elderly box collectors. Okay. And what made you want to start it? Uh, I feel very troubled looking at old people collecting boxes in a first world Singapore. If you see, you know, everyone driving a big car, and then you see suddenly this old bent lady pushing a cardboard, you know, something is not right with, uh, with the situation, right? Alright, so it seems these cardboard collectors are getting help. So you assume that they won't have to worry about basic needs such as, I don't know, food? But every day you got enough to have lunch, dinner, breakfast. Don't have. Auntie, then le chicken le siapa ipai? Ipai. So how many times you eat? I eat one time only. Now it's Rafin help us three dollars, so I take two meal. If Rafin don't help me, I take one meal. So basically, they're getting a teeny bit of money in an increasingly expensive world. So okay, this is a huge problem, which needs a lot more than this video to solve. But in the meantime, what can we do as individuals? You can actually go out, you see an old folks down there uh, pushing the cardboard, maybe if you have a bit of cash, even a $2 note uh, can mean a lot to them. So I guess these aunties do get help from passers-by who see them? Has anyone offered to help you or...? No, nobody helped me. But do you need help? I need help also, no use. Huh? Why, why no use? Nobody help us. Huh? People look down upon us. Dang. I guess that's the reality, huh? Looks like even before we get to donations, the first step for many of us is to acknowledge the realities these cardboard collectors face. Hopefully once we do that, there'll be more people like Nafis who step up to do even more to help, without having to wait for real-life incidents like this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We like to get this message out to as many people as possible, so please share this with your friends. And if you've got any thoughts on this issue, let us know in the comments below. Peace. Uncle, actually, we are, we are filming a video. Oh. Yeah, we wanted to see how Singaporeans react. So we are making a, a video to see how Singaporeans react to this. Thank yeah. you so much for helping. Okay. Yeah, the guy who helped me, who pushed me was my friend.